Once again, my name is Sekwa Schultz and welcome to Maisha Today. In today's episode, we are going to talk about issues of culture. As we all know, you have different cultures in the world and tend to differentiate between one city to another city, one village to another village, and that's what makes you and me very, very unique. So today we have this amazing, amazing, when I talk about amazing, I mean amazing <laughs> young girl. And she's going to tell us about her culture, what she does, and what inspires her to do whatever she's doing. Welcome again, Martha. Thank you so much. Please, can you introduce yourself? Um, my name is Ainimba was Martha Gifts. Mm-hmm. I, um, I, I belong to the Wanyankole culture okay. in Uganda. I work with Faraja Safaris and mm. Faraja Africa Foundation. Okay, uh, you belong to the... Uh, Ankole culture. Ankole. It's just from an Ankole kingdom. Yes. Mm-hmm. Can you please tell us more about it? Like, what is it in, in your culture? Uh, so, uh, from Ankole kingdom, the mm-hmm. people who come from Ankole kingdom are called Banyankole. Mm-hmm. They speak a language called Banyankole. These are Bantu people. Okay. So, yeah, uh, they speak a language called Runyankole. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ankole Kingdom is located in Western Uganda. Okay. And unlike other kingdoms, we used to have a king, yes, but we no longer have a king now. Mm. We are very liberal people now. <laughs> Every family ruling itself. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, that's basically it, really. And then, uh, of course, we are, how we are unique from other cultures is according to the way we dress, mm-hmm. dress differently, uh, the, the, the ladies traditionally. And, and how, how does the ladies, ladies dress exactly? The ladies uh, traditionally, not now, because now modernity has come in, mm-hmm. but traditionally uh, they, we wear, uh, uh, it's called uh, busuti, the whole attire. Okay. Uh, whereby it's a big skirt, really mm-hmm. long, that mm-hmm. covers. Yeah. Is it puffy or? Exactly. Okay. Puffy. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then uh, with a, a small short dress mm-hmm. and another linen on top. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, but but uh, even now, there, I believe there are some of areas that. Yes, do. definitely. So, for example, if you attend any traditional ceremonies like giveaway ceremonies, mm-hmm. uh, introduction ceremonies, mm-hmm. you'll see that that is the attire that they wear. And because of the, it is, you cannot run when you're wearing that. So the Wanyankole women are known for their gracefulness. Okay. As long as you're wearing a, a traditional wear, you have to be very graceful. Mm, that's 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 very very interesting. Yeah, it's not something that you can wear if you're in a hurry. Okay, and and what about men? The men traditionally they used to wear skirts mm. uh, because they were majorly skirts farmers. Skirts like uh, how people in Scotland wear. No, no. So they're not like Scottish skirts. They are long, uh, plain, really. Okay. okay. And uh, another linen on top without tests or nothing. So you just cover and then they use because the uh, most of them, especially the Wahima, mm-hmm. the farmers, so they use they us- usually used to move with a stick. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. Stick. Okay. And and when you come to the issues of having roles and responsibilities, uh, do they differ traditionally until now or that how how do you describe that in terms of men and women? In the in the Ankole tribes. Oh, so if you're a feminist, of course, the culture is not going to <laughs> <laughs> align with what you want. Mm-hmm. But uh, the roles were really clear. The women used to stay at home mm-hmm. and take care of the children, raise children at home, take care of the home, mm-hmm. uh, do the cooking, the washing, and the organizing everything, making sure that that their bed chambers mm-hmm. are well scented. Yeah, and then uh, among the Wahima, Mm -hmm. they're the ones who majorly used to make uh, yogurts to make sure that uh, the place where milk products are kept is always clean. Okay. Then the men, uh, they used to hunt, they used to farm, go take care of cattle, and they were majorly the heads of the home. And until now, does that uh, role, issues of role responsibility still take place? Culturally, yes. Mm -hmm. But of course, with the... the women empowerment that has come in, mm. uh, it is really tricky. Mm. Though, culturally, mm. a woman, a successful woman, mm-hmm. whether you are successful in your job, as long as you are, no, as long as your home is not in order, you're really considered uh, a successful woman. Okay. Can you please repeat that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so uh, you are 
considered successful if your home is in order mm. and if you can be an empowered woman mm-hmm. but um, if you if you're a CEO of a company mm. and your home is really not in order mm-hmm. then you're not really successful culturally and uh, what about issues of the food you eat you talked about issues of beans. yeah uh, food okay the the most popular food that is unique to the Manyankole is a shavwe a shavwe Okay, for, for the interest of us that we don't understand, what yes, do you mean? <laughs> so a shawe is, um, you can call it ghee sauce. Okay. Yeah, you know, it is a sauce that you make out of ghee. Mm-hmm. It is, when you look at it, mm-hmm. for the, you, the dot com people and the ice cream, the ice cream kids, <laughs> it looks like yogurt ice cream. Okay. So um, you can eat it with matoke, with kalo. So you're, okay, you're bread. using that... Uh, as sauce yes that is a sauce so you can have other foods with that as the sauce you can mm. maybe have matoke and have the sauce the ghee sauce you can have kalo and the ghee sauce it is very nice with matoke you should try it sometime yeah, you should bring it to me you're gonna bring it to me yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make it for you sometime <laughs> later but we can't disclose that now <laughs> uh, uh, master coming back to what you do you, I can see that you, you're working in, you told us you're working in Faraja Safaris and you're working as a... Um, oh, uh, in Faraja Safaris, I work as a, a logistics and hospitality officer. Okay, but uh, what what is it about Faraja Safaris? Because what have you, I went to the website, I searched about it and it's more about uh, youth camping, traveling and all that. And that's why I called you this day specifically to tell us about the issues of culture. All right. Um, so Faraja Safaris is a travel and tour company. Okay. We have previously, we have majorly been uh, concentrating on uh, holding youth mm. camps, yes. uh, both nationally and internationally. Mm. Internationally, we have had um, international youth camps in Mombasa and Zanzibar. Okay. And of course, every year, we our, our intention is to make sure that every year we hold at least one international youth camp. For example, this year, we're going to have an international youth camp in Zanzibar. Okay. That is at the end of the year, yes. When you organize that kind of youth camps, normally how many intake uh, people do you normally take? Well, we take as many as possible. Okay. And um, also, you need to note that uh, we work along uh, alongside Faraja Africa Foundation okay. and um, under the program of Africa Youth Heritage Program. So okay. when we hold these youth camps, usually they are aimed at conservation and promotion mm. of, uh, of wild heritage sites in Africa. So we, when we go for these youth camps, we mm. majorly visit world heritage sites oh that's for example uh the three world heritage sites in uganda we okay. have renzori mountains national park we have windy impenetrable forest national park mm-hmm. and kasuri tombs and, and what actually have made you get interested in issues of culture heritage yes so you see as time goes by um if we don't emphasize issues of our heritage and culture mm-hmm. with technology sweeping in uh, our young people tend to forget uh, mm-hmm. their heritage so our aim is to make sure that even as the generations change, mm. our culture is maintained, mm. our heritage is maintained. Yeah. In that even if you don't actually uh, participate in those, uh, those cultural occasions and cultural activities, mm. you know them. Yes. Yeah. For example, the Vanyangole, you know that when I have my children, I know my culture, so I know what I'm going to be passing mm. on to them. So that they can know that they have something about them that is of their own. Mm. If, for example, they're in school, uh, if you if you're if you're coming from maybe uh, you're an Itesot and you're coming to Kampala to study, mm. you know there is something that that um, sets me apart from everyone from, else yeah, in my yeah. class, mm. and that is my culture. But you need to know that culture mm. and. Because of the busy parents that we are, our time, mm. our, our parents are very busy doing work, so children usually end up not knowing and, and their culture. And as the days go, generations, the generation pass, we come to find out that the culture, the norms... It's totally are, different. Exactly, Everyone yeah. has adopted the, the Western culture, mm. so we need to emphasize uh, the cultural and heritage information among the youth so that... African culture is upheld throughout the generation. Okay, uh, that that was very very interesting. And guys, this is Martha, the amazing amazing young girl that I was telling you about. That mm. she knows a lot about her own culture, but as well wants to take you youth to another destination to understand about the heritage and cultures of the society. Mm. Now, uh, you are talking about issues of having a 
a trip in the end of the year in Zanzibar. Yes. How can the youth out there tend to reach out to you? How can they Oh, you yeah. can uh, reach out to us on our social media platforms mm -hmm. at Faraja Safaris on Facebook, on Twitter and Instagram. Or you can call us uh, on our phone. Uh, we're going to share it uh, so that you can get in contact with us. You can WhatsApp with us and make the booking mm -hmm. for that. Uh, and, and per person, per, per person in the package of going in Zanzibar, how much is it? The price is yet to be determined. Okay. Yes, because I can't communicate it now. It's going to be at the end of that. A lot of things mm -hmm. might have changed between now and mm -hmm, then, so mm -hmm. the price might either increase or, or reduce. Okay. Yes. But we actually keep in touch. Please make yes. sure you put me in that list. I am so definitely guys, uh, this was our our episode today about culture, and we came to understand, we get to know ab about and call a tribe. And call it tribe, kingdom, tribe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, thank you very much for being with us today. Until next time. Ciao. Have a nice day. <laughs>